I'll start with introduction. My name is Lyle Campbell. I'm a Haida Carver. Belong to the Edenshaw family. We're Stustas, some Gulf people. And uh, carving a pole for my mom, my late mother, Alice Campbell. Uh, come this August 11th, it'll be six years since her passing. So we're shooting to complete this by then and then uh, put it up around that time. We were just talking about money and how it's connected to creation of art and how a lot of people say, you know, they can't carve these poles because there's no money there. But uh, I started this pole with no money. Uh, basically, well, we had, you know, money to live off and bills and such covered because I'm, I carve all the time. But I mean, we really didn't have this massive budget that, you know, people like to have before they do big projects. And, uh, but I was inspired by a friend of mine, um, his name's Nusi, uh, Heitzok from Kalabella, and uh, he just carved some poles for their big house. They had a big house opening last October, and we attended that big house opening ceremony, and I danced and sang with uh, the Haidas that were in attendance. There was over a hundred of us in our group. It was pretty good showing. Anyhow, uh, I found a, I heard the story about how he uh, he didn't take any money on that project, and, he, and yet they created uh, four interior house poles for the big house, and it took them some seven months or something. I, I'm just going back by memory there, but um, you know, basically he didn't take any money. So um, it got me thinking. I was very inspired by that, and very moved. So I decided, well, I've been wanting to do this pole for my mom for a long time, and. And I just thought, well, you know, it's not gonna happen unless we just start. So we started and we operate on the complete faith that everything we'll, we need will be there when we need it. And it's been that way ever since we started. Uh, we're very blessed, very grateful to the creator for everything that we need to do this. It's always there right when we need it. And uh, so yeah, Nusi inspired me. He got me going on this idea and and really it's the people themselves that want to see this happen that are giving of their finances i have complete strangers walking up to me giving me a couple hundred dollars at a time and that money doesn't go into my pocket it goes directly into paying my carvers we have about five to six carvers working on this and we also have guest artists that show up and i'm not turning anybody away if they want to help they can come and pick up a knife or a tool and they can help and uh it's been fantastic we've had a really great showing of carvers and we have more that are that are coming to help as we get further along here with the covid virus thing happening a lot of artists are you know kind of leery on traveling in bc and uh, don't want to go through the two-week isolation period once they get there and such uh, this is all changing as we're speaking you know like it's, the regulations are starting to lift and it's it's getting better so i imagine Within the next month, I'll start seeing out-of-town carvers showing up and giving me a hand, which is great because that'll be a good time. We'll be detailing by then, so uh, we should finish in July. We're, uh, we're on target to finish in July. Might finish it a little early and then I'll have time to really go over it and fine-tune everything. But um, yeah, just just a little bit about the log. It came from Haida Gwaii. Um, it's a beautiful red cedar. Uh, it, it just kind of lends itself to carving. It's uh, fantastic to work with. And uh, yeah, every day I uh, try to connect with it and have a moment alone with it before we start carving and uh, talk to Solana. And, and uh, so we're trying to do everything the right way. Uh, I'm speaking with uh, some Shan chiefs right now. We're following prot protocol and um, trying to speak with, with each of the chiefs from the nine allied tribes. And uh, so far, three of them have come by to visit with us, and uh, it's really great and honored to have them come and speak with us. And basically, this pool is not any kind of declaration of ownership of land or entitlement or anything like that. It's just simply um, tells uh, the crests that belong to our family, that were my mother's, that are mine. Um, just basically saying that a Haida woman of the Eagle clan from the Edenshaw people lived in this house and spent most of her life here and she had a she had a life dream to have a, a hide a pole and to own her own pole so 
Um, yeah, so we're just basically fulfilling a life wish here for her. Uh, it's really bringing everybody together. It's been a really good experience. And uh, it's pretty rewarding in any ways. Thank you.